Morning, KK. Good morning. Woke up bright and early to drive to Assateague. Astig Island, more specifically Astig Island National Seashore to see the Shikatik ponies. This has been a dream 20 years in the making. This is Misty of Shikatik, the iconic children's book about the Shikatik ponies. Did you read it? Yeah, I read all of them. Oh my god, Kate is on cloud nine right now. Cloud nine. I grew up reading Misty of Shikatik by Margaret Henry, horse crazy young girl, and now we're gonna try to go find them. What are some fun facts we learned about this? So there's three areas, but we're visiting the Maryland side. Yeah, so Astig Island, uh, there's three different agencies that oversee it. Uh, you have the Maryland State Park, you have the Astig uh, Island Seashore, which is a national park, and then you have the Shikatig Southern part. Uh, there's different theories about where they come from. You have the kind of romantic notion that they were shipwrecked off of a Spanish boat and they swam to shore, which is Aztec Island, or the more realistic version is that there were landowners uh, with pastures out on the mainland, and the ponies ran free, went to the island, lived here for generations, and they've adapted to kind of the harsh conditions um, here where they become stockier, shorter, squatter, thicker, coarse hair um, to live on this barrier island. But the crazy thing is though, like, I didn't know there are, these are wild horses, right? Yeah, completely wild. Completely wild. And you were telling me that unfortunately because of that status, if they get sick or something, like no one helps them, right? Mm -mm. Because they're wild. Yeah, they have to fend for themselves. Mm. And there's also like a lot of other wildlife that you can see here, but of course the most popular are the horses. Yes, they're the most popular attraction. Alright, so we just pulled in here. We have to pay. We don't know how much, but it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning here, and there's a huge line, so make sure you come here early. There is, before you take a right into the Island National Seashore, there's also another exit for the state park, which I saw a lot of cars there, it's supposed to be really nice beaches, but we're going to Island National Seashore where you can see the horses. Once you get through, you can go down here, down here, or there. I think we're gonna try to get to the furthest point. South Ocean Beach. South Ocean Beach. But uh, the, yeah, there's a dunes trail here. You were saying there's marshes here. Yeah, deep nature trails, life of the marsh, life of the forest, life of the dunes. Lots to do and lots to see here. All right, we're through, we're through, we're through. It's $25 for a standard pass. I asked the officer, where is the best viewing place to see the horses? And he's like, it's hard to say because they're wild horses. They keep roaming around. So we just have to uh, check a couple viewpoints and Right. Spotted her first horse. Hi. Hey, cutie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god he's oh my coming. God. Oh my god. He's coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do? Hey. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, he's looking at us. Oh my god. This is a success already, guys. Oh Not my god. Not even five minutes in, we found one. He's like, man, I was just eating my breakfast. Did you see that? So I went, hey, he looked up, he saw me, and he's like, bleh, <laughs> ruined my breakfast. And then he went into the forest and disappeared. So this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Go, go, go. And oh my God, oh my God, there's so many horses. There's so many horses. KK, come on. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is exciting. This is exciting. This is the most exciting thing I've ever done. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're, we're just following the horses. We're following them, but you gotta stay 40 feet away. You have to Come stay 40 on, feet yeah. away because yeah. if you don't, you're gonna get a ticket and get yelled at by these guys. Oh, look, he's, so he's checking out the, the dump pile to see if there's other herds encroaching on his territory. The horses can be very unpredictable, which is why you have to obviously stay. 40, 40 feet away from them, but they can also be covered with poison ivy as well, so yeah. you definitely don't want to touch them. No, no, no.
they're really strict here in terms of enforcing people, making sure they're staying a safe distance away. Even though they're cute, they're completely wild and they could be 100% unpredictable. You never know what they're gonna do, so you have to also stay alert. I'll stay here. Bob's cat. Which Next, one? The white one. The white one, yeah. It looks a little dirty. That's Bodacious Bob, okay. Then you have Ronnie. Ronnie. Uh-huh. Billy Bob's the brown and white pinto. Billy Bob's the one behind, uh -huh. okay. And then this is Nom. This is Giggles. Nom and okay. And this is their her offspring, no, which is, is, is Adriana's happy camper. Oh, we found them. We found them. Okay. They're like giant dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we saw wild ponies. All right, now let's check out the beach. <laughs> Carol, the pony patrol person, told us that if you're lucky and you come to the beach, sometimes you'll see the pony swimming. <laughs> That's so cool. It's because the marsh flies can get so intense and, the, and they're so itchy. Yeah. So they'll roll in the sand to get rid of the flies yep. and then they'll jump into the salty water and the salt water helps to it, uh, soothe the itching sensation. Yeah, there are a lot of flies here. I've been bitten a lot. Um, so we might have to go in the water too, okay? <laughs> yeah, maybe next time. Oh my god, and it's not hot at all. Wow. It's not even 10.30, so... It's not even 10.30. Look at this beach. <laughs> wow! Oh, watch out for the fishing line! Nice, and we got to see wild ponies. How's the water? Uh, I'm waiting for it to come up. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, but it's beautiful. So you can also bring like proper all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive vehicles here and park on the beach, but you need a special permit for this. All these trucks are trying to get into the beach huge line. Oh my god, Kate, it's so hot. Yeah. It's like 90 degrees today. It's 10.45. My feet are like on fire. The sand is hot. Yeah, sand is hot. What a shade, difference. Shade, shade. Whoa. Oh. What a difference. Oh, it feels good. I just take some reprieve. Oh. How was the beach? Oh, it's so beautiful. We're about to check out the life of the forest trail. Dung. So, maybe we'll see a horse. So another thing that we discovered about this place is that it's not just arid sand and dunes. You got lush trees here as well. Yeah. Which provides nice, welcoming shade. Okay, we're really lucky out today seeing all the ponies. Such a cool variety of um, vegetation and, and terrain. Made it at Bayside Drive, a really popular beach here. You can rent out stuff. Rent out kayaks, canoes. Kayaks, canoes, camping equipment, and just a cute place to be. We're doing this. Hello. KK, I adopted a pony. <laughs> I got two folks. Strawberry shortcake. I grew up on this and KK won the Twix. Oh, we might regret this, but it's gonna be amazing. It's super hot today. We came to this beach to eat our ice creams and then we found three more horses. With the baby! Just eating ice cream here, looking at these guys. They're just chilling at the beach with everybody. This guy's just chilling. This baby is so cute. So cute. But then this dad is just like watching all of us. Stay away from the baby. That's all the flies. She's itching. Oh! oh. Mom and 
and dad are just chilling in the shade here, watching the baby who just passed out. Look how fluffy the baby's coat is. Carol from Pony Patrol wasn't kidding. There was the new parents with their baby here at uh, the Bay Drive, this is where we are. I'm speechless. Oh my god, this is not, like a dream come true. Not every day you can go beaching with three horses. <laughs> Shoot. Horses are chilling. KK is really scared. Walking super slowly. You did it! Oh my God, that was so scary. <laughs> it's not scary. Yeah, because the dad is so agitated. Yeah. The dad sat down too. Yeah. Mom. Mom is still up. The two guys are down. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, scare the baby. There they go. Wow. That was the coolest beach experience of my life. Me too. Oh my god. Wild horses on a beach with humans. Oh. I'm at a loss of words. But it was kind of sad how they, they just told the horses to leave and get out. Yeah. They were just chilling in the shade with like any one of this, us. This is their home. This we're their cruising home. On, their, on their house. Oh my there god. There they are. Oh, there they go, there they go, there they go. How many horses did we see today? Uh, we saw one when we first came in, five minutes in, and then five at the OSB area, two at the Nature Trail, three at Bayside Drive, so 11 wild horses! <gasps> ah! So after thinking and dreaming about this place for over 20 years, was it worth it? Oh my god, we were crying. Yes, it was so worth it. I can't believe we saw 11 wild horses. And then a baby is on Misty and Shanko. We're not too deep, but... Oh my gosh, yeah. You heard her. If you like animals, if you love horses or ponies and nature, make your way down here. It was an epic day. Yeah. Just the fact that we can beach and chill with horses right next to us just made it totally worth it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, she's so happy. Yay, dream come true for KK. Dream come true. But again, we're only on the Maryland side, so yeah. next time we gotta go back to the Virginia side to explore we'll that. We'll go to Shingotig. Yeah. yeah. Just past the uh, gate. And look at this line. Oh my god. So make sure you get here in the morning. Oh my gosh, it goes wow. It just keeps on going. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. <gasps> so the traffic jam is caused by the ponies. Everyone's waiting to take a look at them. Look at <gasps> Wow. Oh my god. Oh, there's, there's so many of them. Yeah. Oh, come on. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. One, two, three, four. There's six up here. Oh. On the way out, we saw six more ponies. So, grand six total. Six more. Seventeen. Seventeen ponies in Assapeake. We wow. would have been happy just with one. Yeah. For the record. <laughs> but, ah, oh, it was honestly the coolest horse experience and the coolest beach experience oh. I have ever done. Yeah. We're definitely coming back. And it just made it a little bit more thrilling that after learning that these horses, because they're wild, they're unpredictable. So like anything can happen. People have gotten kicked here. People have gotten bitten. Well, not, we're not celebrating that. Well, no, we're not, no, we're not celebrating that, but then you, you have to like be alert You have now, to be right? on edge. Yep. You have to be on edge while marveling and appreciating these just beautiful, beautiful animals. So, and the kicker, being able to enjoy a beach with a family of three, I mean, what an ask experience. For anything That's more. a lifetime. That's so a again, lifetime. would have been happy just with one, but we saw how many now? Seventeen. Seventeen. Wow. Well. Totally recommend this place. We're coming back. Yes, we are. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out.